Hello, my friends. Wayne Chair here, coming to you from my home office in Washington, D.C. I want to share with you a little bit of the agency side of things on how how big how big customers are saving lots of money on traffic and and it, just because I said big customers doesn't mean you can't do this in fact you can do this it's how you can make yourself a big customer um, depending and of course it always depends on your budget for traffic and what you're willing to spend and if you always say you don't have any money to spend on traffic then you don't have any money to spend on your business so you shouldn't be in business <laughs> That's, yes, I know you hate it when I say things like that, but that's the way it goes. So we're going to look at maximizing your lead results with existing traffic, okay? So this is how you can reduce cost and increase your results with existing traffic that you may be purchasing right now. So how do you do that? All right, would you like to know that? Would you like to save money? Would you like to increase your results from by 50, 100, 200, 400, 600 percent? It is possible doing this, so you need to pay attention here. You need to you need to implement this as soon as you possibly can. All right. So watch this. This doesn't take long, and uh, and the power of it is um, I don't know how to describe the power of it. It's beyond it's beyond what you can imagine, and you won't believe it. And that's really not my problem. That's your problem. <laughs> so, I know you love when I say that too. Uh, so let's take a look at, at what it's going to do here and what it is and what we're talking about. All right, maximizing lead results. Maximize the results using retargeting. You may have heard of retargeting. Retargeting has the potential to increase lead conversions, like I said, from 50 to 600 percent depending, depending on your source of traffic. And this can be used with any source of traffic. You'll understand why I'm saying that here in a moment. All right, it can transform even your cheapest traffic sources into effective high converting traffic. All right, read, read that carefully. You can transform even your cheapest traffic into high, effective high converting traffic. So for this, um, this particular presentation, I'm going to use as an example, it's not the only way to do this, I'm going to use as an example PPV traffic or pay-per-view traffic. Pay-per-view traffic is a very, very low cost, very, very high targeted traffic. But people generally have a difficult time getting this to work because it takes effort. And if you don't understand how to do PPV traffic, you get very, very poor results. Okay, so, but this is how you can turn those results into very, very high quality results. And if you're getting the good results from the PPV, make it even better all right so is that good um, now remember this doesn't apply just for ppv it reply it applies for any traffic source solo ads um pay-per-click um what else blogging <laughs> um your your seo traffic um it, it doesn't matter what what the traffic the original traffic source is okay i'm just using ppv as an example all right, so don't get locked in on this, um, on the PPV. You could substitute solo ad for PPV. You could substitute Bing, Bing PPC for PPV, okay? You could substitute any original traffic source for P, the word PPV. So what's the secret formula? Your traffic source, whatever it may be, plus a retargeting pixel will equal higher, higher conversions. A very simple formula, okay? You, by simply putting simply putting a pixel on your page where your original traffic lands. So look at let's we're going to look at using PPV traffic, and you can use any traffic source. I say that again, including solo ads. Okay, including solo ads, and you'll understand this. So don't get uh, I don't see how you can do that. Don't be doing that with me. All right, let's pay attention here. So maximizing lead results, how it works. Okay, you have uh, this. This page is the page where your traffic lands, your squeeze page or, or whatever page. Maybe it's a, a, a blog article or maybe, I, I don't know what it is. It's, it's wherever the traffic first lands, whatever that may be. In most marketers, that's a squeeze page because you're trying to capture people's names. But different types of tra traffic may land on different types of pages. It just doesn't matter. All right. Then 
you have your re, you add a retargeting pixel to this page. Okay, that's it. So where do you get the retargeting pixels? They come from the networks that do the retargeting. Okay, they give you a pixel. You put it on the uh, squeeze page, and what that equals is your ad starts literally following people around the internet. Okay, so it, whenever your when, whenever your particular viewer in, lands on a page that your retargeting agency services, well, your ad will show up again, typically in the form of a banner. Okay, so you got that. All right, so retargeting is a ret. A retargeting network gives you a pixel to put on your web page or web pages. When the viewer lands on your page, a retargeting cookie is dropped and the user IP is collected and added to your retargeting list. So your retargeting list is a list of IP addresses. Okay. So that's how they follow the person. And when that IP address shows up on, on that retargeting network's um, network pages, where uh, where they're allowed to retarget to, they will place your ad when it matches the demographics you specify. And maybe even on uh, non-demographic matches, because at this point, if you used highly targeted traffic like solo ads or PPV ads to begin with, um, you had highly targeted people landing on that page to begin with. So even if they're on their doctor's page, um, they're still a targeted customer and they and they may still see your ad depending on the network okay so it's it's that that isn't outside the realm of what can happen you provide your banners or ads to the retargeting network and they place them on other web pages your viewer visits based on what's available in their network so it's very very targeted to your customer and you don't lose your viewer after the first look at your ad because remember this is important most people do not take action on the first time they see your ad. They need to see your ad five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 times before they uh, take action. And retargeting makes that happen. Okay? You see how powerful this is now? Now, why you might get more conversions? You won't might get more conversions. You will get more conversions. Um, that's, uh, that's the bottom line. So, the pay-per-view example. Uh, pay-per-view is just one example. As I mentioned, I'll emphasize again. Uh, pay-per-view... What it does is it pops your web page over or under web pages. You target it based on your desired audience. So I'm not going to teach you how to do pay-per-view traffic here. That isn't the point here. The point here is how to multiply your results with your existing traffic. I'm just giving you an overview of what pay-per-view is so you understand the example I'm using. So when a visitor lands on a page, you target it, your ad pops up, okay, right in front of them. You, you literally steal access to that customer from other pages uh, similar to your own. And it's not really stealing. It's totally legal, okay? Um, so the cost of traffic is very, very low, typically one or two cents per view. The reason for the low cost is it's it's typically very low instant conversion. Be because, you know, pop-ups are annoying to many folks and they won't even look at them. Uh, so the, the pay-per-view um, conversion rate is typically, um, you know, the, the first timer might get one or two percent conversion rates. You can get much, much, much higher uh, when you get good at it, but it really only takes two percent uh, conversions here to be profitable up front. Uh, but you can do do you can do much, much better, and by adding retargeting to it, you can you can massively do better because this is very highly targeted traffic very very highly targeted all right so didn't change let's try it again there we go so pay-per-view has high volumes of traffic on good pay-per-view networks all right i'm going to show you some of the networks just so you you know you, you know what they are um, later uh, but remember, the point is, this could be solo ads, this could be pay-per-click, this could be banner ads on some other website, this could be anything, okay, as your upfront traffic. So despite the low conversion rate, the audience is highly targeted pay-per-view, pay -view, and this allows you to place your retargeting pixel on many, many viewers at a low, low cost and get their opt-in on a later view of your ad 
that is literally following them electronically around the web. Okay, pretty cool, right? So let's take a closer look at that. It's damn exciting is what it is. Let's get this thing to change. Come on, there we go. The pay-per-view example. So here, here's how it works. Remember, you can change this to be a solo ad if you, or, or pay-per-click or anything, okay? So, but I'm using pay-per-view right here. So what happens? Well, you start right here where it says start here. And what happens? You're, you're, you have a viewer, um, person viewing the web, and they, they come to a website that you target it for your pay-per-view traffic to pop up, right? So what happens there, they land on the page you target it, and your, and your squeeze page pops up in front of them. But let's say they take no action, okay? So what happens, your, your page popped up, and, and they see your page, right? And they just close it, all right? But, but because you're using a retargeting pixel, a pixel is dropped on their computer and their IP address is collected, all right? So that viewer is still your audience because you've, you've now retargeted their computer. So the viewer continues surfing, all right? We're just gonna assume they continue at this point. They may even come back later and start, and start surfing again, all right? So what happens? Well, they go to a bunch of different pages that your retargeting network happens to have um, access to networks that place ads on those pages. So if you have to listen to that again, access to networks that place ads on those pages, if they land on any of those pages, your ad will show up in front of your viewer again, typically in the form of a banner. So your, your ad every, everywhere your viewer goes, wherever your viewer goes, okay? Whatever page. So this represents um, multiple pages, all right? Pretty simple, all right. Very, very simple. Um, that and it, thus it, it keeps putting that ad of yours in front of them and increases the likelihood they're going to click on it and take action with you. All right. So PPV networks, commonly known. Um, let's take a look at some of those on on the web here. Um, Traffic Vance. This is this is this one is by far the best, the highest amount of traffic, and of course it costs more to get in. Um, but if you have the budget to do it, I think it's a thousand dollars to start. Then this is where you want to start doing it. After that, um, media traffic is very good network. The volume of traffic is not as good, but the conversions the conversions are there. Lead impact much the same. The volume of traffic's not great, uh, but it's but the conversions are there. Another one, add-on network, very low cost, very high volume, uh, slightly less conversions. Uh, direct CPV, the uh, volume of traffic here uh, varies wildly. Um, the conversions can be good, uh, but the volume of traffic can be very low some, in many, many niche markets. Um, CPV marketplace, a little bit more expensive, but decent conversions, an okay place to go. Uh, Clicksort, most people will find this, uh, but I find the conversions here are not very good. So. That's, uh, that's the quick look at uh, some of the places for PPV traffic. Uh, but remember, you can use any traffic to do this with, any source traffic to do this with, okay? I'm just using this as an example. So maximizing your lead results, remember, the ret with the retargeting networks, these are some retargeting networks that exist as we're, as we're making this, and this could change, of course. Um, but on Facebook, Facebook itself has just added retargeting to websites and mobile app um, custom audiences. Okay, so it's so in custom audiences on Facebook, there's a selection called website and mobile app, and and that would be used for retargeting on Facebook directly. Um, the third party um, that would like Facebook that do Facebook that do good Facebook retargeting, ad roll and perfect audience. Okay, other. Uh, Non-Facebook uh, networks, networks that face that retarget on networks other than Facebook, uh, Site Scout, Retargeting.com, AdRoll, Fetchback, Retargeting Base, Advertising.com, Ad Retargeting, Chango, Media Forge, Perfect Audience, Mediora. Okay, now some of these could easily disappear, and some will stay around. But the point is, there's lots of them, so do a search for 
retargeting advertisers or retargeting networks okay and that's all there is to it so that's retargeting let's give you a quick uh, six-step checklist how do you do this um, pick your retargeting network add your retargeting pixel to your squeeze pages and or um, every page you your lead may see before they actually sign up and become a lead pick your PPV network this is assuming you're using PPV all right you could pick your solo ad provider you could pick your PPC network you could pick your banner network whatever it may be all right build your target URL list or keywords for PPV you need to build a target URL or keyword list you may need to do this of course for PPC you will need to build a keyword list uh, for banner ads some some do it by um, keywords and some don't all right, so you may need to do this step and you may not for different things. All right, for PPV, you will have to do this. So add and activate your campaign in the PPV network. Then add and activate your retargeting campaign in your retargeting network of choice. And voila, you are now on autopilot for this and it just rolls. Now, you're not totally on autopilot. You want to monitor it and analyze whatever traffic you're using and always be trying to improve your results. But the bottom line is, you got it rolling and you will increase your 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 lead results dramatically by implementing retargeting in your um, in your traffic and um, online marketing campaigns all right that's it thanks a lot and I'll talk to you next time